Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ino. In today's video, we'll look at 10 different commands we can use on our network to troubleshoot or to debug our network issues. I'm gonna be running the commands on a Kali Linux machine, but most of these commands should work on most uh, Linux distros. We'll begin by showing the command IP. The command IP can be used to show information related to our network interfaces, such as um, IP address information, MAC address information, and such. Now, there's different options. I will just show two of them for displaying your IP address. So the command is IP address. This should display the interfaces we have and the associated IP addresses. Uh, for instance, here we have loopback0 that's got an IP here of 127.0.0.1. And then we have it0 with an IP of 172.16.1.13. And we also have a MAC address and also a MAC address here. Uh, the other IP command is the IP link. This is just for showing the MAC addresses only. So if you run IP link, now we are getting just the MAC address information. Let's move on to the second command. The second command is going to be the ping command. Now, the ping command is a command we can use to, to check whether a given website or server is reachable or if it's available. And we can either ping the domain name or we can ping an IP address. For instance, we can ping google.com. And if we get a response, that means that that site is available or server is available. We can also ping an IP address if we know it. So let's ping the IP address of our DNS server here, Cloudflare. And we are getting a response also, which tells us that we are able to reach it. Now to end the ping, you have to do control C, otherwise it'll just keep going. The third command is gonna be the NS lookup. Now this is for, mainly it's used to troubleshoot DNS issues. If you wanna make sure that your DNS server is working, you can run NS lookup and then here you put the name of your website or server. And I'm putting inotechtips.com, my website, and I'm able to get back the IP address. We can also do this to google.com, and we are, we are able to resolve that as well. The next command is gonna be the D command, or the domain information broker. So the D command can also be used to troubleshoot DNS issues by sending a query to the by sending a query to the server to see if we get a response. So let's run that command. And we did get an answer. Some of the information we got is related to the air record here. We are getting the, that's the name of the website or the domain name, and then that's the IP. So it's the same information we got previously when we did uh, NS lookup for inner tech tips. The fifth command we look at is the net stat or network statistics. Now this is a now this is a command we can use to debug network services. So we can use this to determine information such as open ports or services on our machine. And this one also has quite a few options. If you do dash help here, we'll get these different options that you can use when you run the command, such as we can display just uh, listening server sockets. You can display the PIDs for programs and so on. Let's go ahead and uh, run a few commands here. Now we'll do netstat-t. This will display TCP connections. Now we have our TCP connection over SSH. I believe I have an Apache server on here. So let's run the command again. And now I'm showing that I have another uh, connection on uh, HTTP. The next command we can try is uh, netstar-l. It's gonna show us all the sockets that are listening or streams. So it's gonna be quite a few services that are shown here. At the end, you can see what the name of the service is. And, and we can do more filtering. We can say, let's combine the filters here and say netstar-t for TCP. We'll Use U for UDP, listening P uh, for PID, and then we'll say don't resolve the names. And this is what we're getting. So it's filtered the information for us. As you can see, it's giving us the actual port 
and, and not showing the name. If we wanted to see the name, we just remove the N. And now we are seeing the, the name of the protocol. Let's move on to the next command. Now the next command is gonna be the ls of command, which shows open ports also. So we'll do sudo ls of, and let's do dash i here to show what ports are listening. And as you can see here, you have a process ID, the command of the application. You have Apache 2, you have a SSHD, the user. At the end here, it says listen. So it's listening. And for SSH, it's showing you the devices or the IPs that are involved in that connection. We can also filter this. Uh, let's say if you only wanted to see for a given port or for a given service, you can do ls or f and say TCP here then say port 80 to filter just for HTTP. That's how you do the filter. The seventh command we'll look at is a TCP dump. TCP dump allows you to capture packets on the, on the network. Running the command by itself is gonna display a lot of uh, information. So let's just run it. So as you can see, all the communication on your network is gonna be captured because it turns your interface into a promiscuous mode. And then it allows it to capture all the communication within your network. We have options for filtering using a TCP dump as well. We'll do TCP, we'll do a sudo TCP dump. We can filter by uh, TCP and we can also filter by, let's say, let's, let's use something else here. Let's say app and any app communication. So this is address resolution protocol. Queries on your network are going to be shown here if you use this uh, filter. And to end, you just use control C again. You can also filter by like an host. So there's many options. You can say sudo tcp dump. And then you can say, let's say host. Team, for instance, and that should filter just by that host IP. Uh, moving on, the eighth command we'll look at is the IP route command. Now, the IP route command allows us to see the routing table on our device. So we can say IP route show, and that shows us the routing tables. So here it says default via this. So this is our default gateway and we can reach it over Ethernet zero. That's pretty much what it's saying. We can also add a, a route. Let's say there's a route that we want to reach. We can add we can add it using the command. So we can say IP route and say add, let's say we are looking to reach this network here. The 10.1.1.0 slash 24. And it's reachable via 172.16.14 which is our default gateway here. And the device or the interface is, it's, it's zero. If we run show IP, if we run IP route show, you'll see that this network has been added for us. If we wanted to delete this, we can just repeat the same command and just instead of add, we will say delete here. We'll say DEL for delete and the PRA show and that route is gone. You can also use the same command to add a default gateway. You you say IP route add default via then the IP address for your default. So I'm not gonna add one here and mess up my default gateway. Okay. The next command is trace route now Trace route allows us to determine the route or the hops that a packet takes to reach a particular destination. Now let me, let me show an example here. Let's say sudo trace route. Let's see how many hops we take to get to our DNS server. And this is the, the hops. First it gets to my default gateway and then to another device with that IP. And then this is my ISP. And then there's another device. 
another device. So it takes seven hops to get to the DNS uh, server, which is at 1.1.1. The final command is a bonus command, which is not specifically just for networking, but just um, an overall command that's used mostly for pen testing. And this is Nmap. Let me just show the different options. There's so many options for it. And basically it's used to scan for open ports and much more. I'll just run a basic command using it. I'm gonna say sudo nmap, and then I'm gonna scan this device. And it found SSH as being open here, and it found the MAC address. So that's pretty much it for this video. Those are 10 different commands you can utilize on your Linux machine to troubleshoot or to debug or to do diagnostics on your network. I hope this information has been useful. I'll catch you in my next video. Thanks. Bye.